Hi, my name is Dr. Jabel McKeel. I'm on the medical staff at Baylor Scott & White. I'm a neurologist here who specializes in movement disorders. And two of the most common movement disorders I see are Parkinson's disease and essential tremor. So the exact causes of Parkinson's disease aren't known, but we know it's an interplay between genetics and environmental risk factors like pesticides. And with this exposure, with these environmental and genetic risk factors, you lose chemicals in the brain that causes you to have symptoms of Parkinson's. So the most common symptoms of Parkinson's disease that most people know are tremor, but more importantly, it's a resting tremor. So tremor that you only see when you're at rest or walking and relaxed. So essential tremor is one of the most common causes of tremor. It's due to a miscommunication between the deep parts of the brain and how it communicates with coordination centers of the brain. It's a combination of genetic risk factors along with environmental risk factors that predisposes people to getting this type of a tremor. And it's a tremor that you see with any kind of action, such as eating, writing, or even tying your shoelaces. So essential tremor and Parkinson's are similar in that they both have tremor, but with Parkinson's, you're seeing more of a rest tremor, a tremor that's only there when you're relaxed, when you're walking, versus essential tremor, it's a tremor at action. So a tremor that you see when you're writing something, eating, drinking, even tying your shoelaces. Parkinson's, you have other symptoms besides a tremor. You have slowness, changes with how you walk, along with symptoms of difficulty with smell, constipation, vivid dreams, difficulty with your memory. With a central tremor, it really is just a tremor in your hands, it can be in your voice, in your body, in your legs, even in your face. It can be really confusing to see if you have a central tremor or Parkinson's disease. If you or your loved ones have any questions, please come see a neurologist.